Hey guys, this is Martin Perdomo, the Elite Strategist here, and I want to show you today how to use my weekly habit register. Okay, so real simple, okay guys? The weekly habit register, um, I actually modeled it after someone else and I added some of my own flair and my own little things to it, okay? So here's how it works. So your daily actions, along with clarity of your goals, is what pulls you towards your desired outcome. So one of my mentors, Tony Robbins, says that clarity is power. Those that know where they're going, okay, those that know where they're at, um, will get where they're going faster. But first of all, you have to know where you are and you have to know that what you're doing the actions and the habits that you're taking are leading you to those results. And that's what this is about. It's about measuring, 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 measuring. What gets measured gets improved, ladies and gentlemen. So, for example, you have here on column number one, behavior-habit. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Achieve, goal, and net. Again, you're going to hear me repeat over and over and over and over again, what gets measured gets improved, okay? When I am coaching people or I'm mentoring people, I am constantly telling them, telling my mentees, are you measuring? Are you measuring? How do you feel when you do this? What happens when you do this? What's the result of that behavior? What's the effect? So everything has a cause. Every cause has an effect. So a, every behavior is going to have a is going to have an effect. Every behavior is either getting you closer or pulling you closer to your goals or pulling you away from your goals. It's going to be doing one of the two. So for instance, one of mine here, one of mine is uh, at the top of my list is meditate and journal, right? So in here, if you if you were when I'm doing this here every week, I would put one behavior that I I, I want to keep and that pays great dividends to me is I meditate and I journal. And how long does that take me? How much time do I want to spend every day doing that? So for me, I take about 30 minutes a day, 15 minutes meditating, and then another 15 minutes writing. Sometimes it takes me a little longer, but that's about 30 minutes a day. And I do that seven days a week. So Monday through Sunday. So right here, I'm going to take 30 minutes, right? Which is 15 minutes for meditating, 15 minutes for journaling. I'm going to take the seven minutes, I'm going to multiply it times seven. That's going to give me 210 minutes. So right here under goals, I'm going, to put, I'm going to put it in minutes. That's the way I like to do it. I like to measure things in terms of minutes. All right. And I'm going to keep going. So the next thing, one of my other things is exercise. My next thing here is exercise. So how many minutes a day do I want to exercise? Same thing. So I, I like to um, exercise for 40 minutes a day, six times a week. I put that goal, so that's 40 times six, is 240 minutes, and I'm going to put here in my, in my next one, 240. Of course, that's my goal. I don't hit that every week. Sometimes things happen, but the two things that are consistent, consistent, consistent in my, in my life every single day is meditate and journal every single day those two things are consistent exercising i'm trying to i'm trying to exercise between five to six days a week then i'm going to give you another one so you you get the gist here i'm going to give you another one so um finances all right i i have i have a column for finances and i call that finances but really what it is is me taking time every day to look at my at my business finance to look at my personal finance to look at my my real estate investing fi uh, finances and measure because what gets measured gets improved. If I'm measuring and I'm paying attention to my finances, it's going to improve. Where your focus goes, your energy flows, and results show. That's the whole point of the weekly habit register. So finances, all right? So I like to spend in finances uh, 30 minutes a day, five times a week, and that is 150 minutes. Sometimes I spend a lot more time than that. The beginning of the month, I spend a lot more time than that because I'm, I'm managing all of my properties and I'm spending a lot of times, a lot of time the beginning of the month with my bookkeeper. And so that all falls into financing. But you get the gist. Okay. So every night, 
every night when I go home or, or through the day, I keep this in front of me, Monday, as soon as I finish working out, I put 30 minutes. Um, as soon as I'm done exercising, I'll put 45 minutes or however many minutes I, I decided to exercise. If I'm working on my finances, as soon as I'm done, I'll put 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever that is, right? And then every day I'm going to do this, every day for every activity. So this is a, a living, breathing document. So here's what happens. At the end of uh, the week, at the end of that week for the behavior, I'm going to put how much minutes I I, I, I did. So let's say I, I, I meditated and I journaled for 40 minutes a day times times seven. I did 280 minutes, but my goal was 210. My net is a positive 70 minutes. Positive 70 minutes, okay? Here's where it gets really, really cool when you're paying attention to your weekly habit register. Here's where it gets really, really good, okay? So I do that across the board every, every, every day I go down, right, my behaviors. And then on Sunday, I do this on Sunday, I do my total tally, my goal, and then my net. So I subtract this from this will give me the net. Then I go, I add them all the way down, I take the achieved, I add them down here, all of my achieve. I take my goal. You'll know the goal at the beginning of the week. You add it here. And then this, your goal, minus your achieved, gives you your net. Right? This is self-explanatory. Date range. So, so I do it by weeks. I like to start on Sunday. So Sunday is my day one. So I don't know. Let's call Sunday the first. So from 4-1... 2020, and I'm just putting a time right now to 4 6 2020. That's um, to 4. I'm sorry, let me give you a, a real number. So, Sunday, April 5th to Saturday, April 11th. That's a week, right? And here's where it gets good. And I'm going to give you a little what I found when I'm scoring at this percentage, I'm doing really well. So if you want to know your percentage, okay, you all you have to do is take your achieved number. So let's say you, you, you hit 2,400 minutes and your goal was 2,700 minutes, right? Down here, that was your goal. And you're going to divide that by 2,700 minutes and you have scored an 88%. Score by percentage. So I like percentages. Here's what I found, ladies and gentlemen. When I'm scoring anything over an 85, I'm, 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 I'm pumping on all the cylinders. I'm hitting all the cylinders. I'm hitting all the cylinders. I'm hitting my goals. I'm moving, I'm moving in the direction of my goals. Do understand that this is a living, breathing document. So if you're just starting to do this, you're going to have to adjust habits. So every week, you're gonna, this is going to force you to think. On Sundays, when you're sitting down, you're going to say, okay, um, how was this habit? Was this profitable for me? Was it worth it? Do I need to change it? Can I improve it? What can be better? Guys, what gets measured gets improved. Here I put, commitment is doing the thing you said you were going to do long after the mood you set it in has left you, right? How many of you have experienced that before? You, you said you're going to do something, you're in a mood, you, you're hyped up, you're feeling good, and then all of a sudden something happens and you stop doing it. Well, this is to keep you focused, where your energy, where your focus goes, your energy flows, and results show. Okay, my imagination is the greatest, is my greatest ally or my worst enemy. Choose wisely what you choose to imagine. All right, and down here, this is write your weekly notes. So when you when you're doing this, you're gonna say, okay, so this habit of, um, you know, this habit of, I don't know you know, playing with the dog for 40 minutes. I'm just picking something. This habit that I'm doing here wasn't that beneficial. I need to adjust that. I need to pick better habit. It wasn't, uh, this is not yielding me the results I want. Basically, what this is doing is just focusing your energy on what habits you need to build to get better at what you want to get better. So, uh, I'm going to give you a question that you should be asking yourself as you're building this every week, okay? And I, if I were you, I would write this down. What's the one thing, this is from Gary Keller's One Thing book, and this is a great, great book. I, I highly recommend it. 
What's the one thing such that when done will make everything else easier or even unnecessary? So when you're thinking of filling this habit tracker, ask yourself that question. What's the one thing such that when done will make everything else easier or even unnecessary? That will start guiding your mind, your unconscious mind to leverage to leverage yourself and find that thing that's going to get you closer to your goal. Of course, remember, clarity is power. You need to know what you want, right? In order for, this works great in conjunction when you know what you want. Clarity is power. This is what this is giving you. So here you write your notes, man. You know, this week, I did really good. Hit all my goals. Fantastic. Let me tweak here. Maybe I need to spend a little more time here exercising. I, I felt really good when I exercised on Tuesday. I, I really went out there. I killed that sale. I made that presentation. Awesome. Let me, let me, uh, when I did this Tuesday, great. Let me, let me increase my number so that I'm working out more uh, on these days. Or, man, I really dropped it this week on marketing. Look, it's showing I didn't really do as much as as I should have on marketing, man, I dropped the ball. This week, and here, areas of improvement for next week. Next week, I'm going to focus a little bit more on marketing. Man, I dropped the ball there. I need to improve because I didn't do that good, right? So you're taking your notes. You're, you're celebrating your wins. Take, uh, here on your weekly notes, celebrate your wins. Say, hey, I did really good. Look for what's good. I did really, really good. I did good here. I did good here. And then areas of improvement, critical think, self-analyze. I need to improve here and I need to improve there. Guys, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope this tool helps you and helps you achieve your goals. Again, the purpose of my life is to empower others to live life on their terms as well as live life on my terms. Guys, love you guys. Appreciate you. God bless you. Peace out.